We are back in the stadium in Nanjing and the order of play, the first four matches all completed in two straight games and the next one coming up is a men's singles. The two-time Olympic champion, the five-time world champion Lin Dan from China, the number nine seed against Mark Kalyao of Netherlands. And the draw, as you can see here, is the first match, of course. And the winners are going to play either Burma or Kovi of France, and edging closer to possibly a match against Xi Yuqi, the number three seed, also from China. But let's see what happens in the future. We will focus on this match at the Total World Championships. And uh, here we have some stats on the two players, Lindan on the left, uh, age 34, and presently number nine on the world ranking, and his opponent is age 23, and uh, his present ranking is 31. Of course, it's going to be very interesting to see how well the great Lindan is playing in this tournament. I still think there's a lot of expectations around his performance here playing at home ground in China for this World Championship. And here the two players are coming on to court. It's Mark Kalyao from Netherlands leading the two players on to court. We are soon getting ready for the toss of the coin. Here, then down in the picture. <laughs> and Mark Kalyao of Netherlands and the head to head. Lindan leads 1 0. And that was in the German Open in 2016. So the two players are having their traditional two minutes warming up. And uh, as soon as uh, Lindan steps on court, there's so much more activity on court than in the previous four matches. <laughs> and also off court. Everybody's <laughs> moving towards that court to see yeah. the legend play. Absolutely. Yeah, the 34-year-old Lindan, the left-hander, back to the... Uh, camera here and here we got his profile mentioned earlier age 34 178 high and his ranking is number nine of course he has been as high as number one in the world but it's not his world ranking that's probably the most impressive I must say having won the Olympic title twice and five World Championships and six All England titles and six Thomas Cop campaigns as well. That's absolutely awesome. And here we got his opponent from Netherlands, 23 years of age, 184. And his ranking is 31. The highest he has been is 25, and that happened on the 28th of June 2018. And here we got the two coaches from Holland. It's actually two Danish coaches. That's at the moment looking after the players from Holland. Players ready to play. So, Steen, what do you expect from this match? Well, uh, it, it's going to be really interesting to see what kind of what, what uh, version of Lindan is it that is uh, showing up here. Um, We'll get a little hint of it in, in this match here, um, but I'm also interested to see Mark Kaljo. Um, I've got a little interest in him because he plays in my club back home in, uh, in Denmark, and uh, 
he's a young player that's uh, working really hard to um, to get better so um, I think Lindan will try to sort of um, get a head start here and see if he can sort of impose his um, his name and his status on on the uh, on the young, young one. Dutchman yeah <laughs> but, um, but let's see uh, it could be um, Fairly easy win for Lindan, but it could also be um, and gentlemen, a troublesome match. However, the possibility. On my right, the, um, Lindan, China. Possibility is. Here we have the umpire for the match, is David Graf von Schwerin of and on my left, Austri Mark Kajou, Austria, Netherlands. And Eric de Roach of Canada is the service judge. Lindan to serve. Level. Play. Starting off with the favorite smash down the line from the backhand situation. Excellent. Service over. Good variation from uh, Mark Carjo. It's very One. important. Oh. When you play Lindan, you cannot just play the same style the whole, the whole match, match through yeah. or even the whole rally through because I think Lindan is probably the best player um, to read what's going on on court and uh, adapt to it. Yeah, just change his game around a little bit yeah. and then uh, he's there straight away. But I. I, I sense, you know, we, we've seen two rallies. I sense that uh, we see quite a strong version of, of Linden. He, he's moving quite quickly two, on court already. One. Let's hope so, because um, that would add some spice to this tournament. Feet of uh, Lindan, both of them in front of the first of the uh, back service lines, and that means that the opponent has played way too short. But what I like when I watch a Mark Callao play is that. Uh, you know, he had this never say Three. die attitude. He, he's really, he's really uh, not giving up at any point in, in matches. He's always there, always doing his best, and that's a, that's a good thing. That's something that you can build on. That's also meaning that whatever match he's playing and whatever the score is, he will always learn from it. Yeah. Going wide, it's a good shot. Well, Steen, it's great to have you next next Four, to me here. We've been working two. together yeah. many times, and first time was about what 25 years ago. Yeah, almost. <laughs> uh, in the in the Danish BA. Says too much about our age. <laughs> <laughs> the two old folks sitting here. But good to have you here. to return Five, that straight smash. Two. It wasn't a hard smash at all, and he's got to be able to return it. If he's got the correct length on his shots to Lindan's backhand, Lindan will never play a cross, cross smash. Nope. He will always play to the backhand side, and you've got to be able to return that. Otherwise, you're not competitive. Then you're simply not in the match. No. And then we'll see Lindan play the long back, uh, the long forehand of Marcajo a number of times. <laughs> That's really well played by Lindan. When you can make these follow-ups 
from his backhand side, then he's in control, and it will be a tough time for Mancaggio if he Six, can't defend two. from his backhand side. Yeah, he must be able to get across court. Again, as you mentioned earlier, the the power of that smash straight down the line is kind of a half half smash. Yeah, he only uses half power because he wants to stay in balance. Mm. That's the only way he can be fast enough on the net. Uh, having. 34 years of experience. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's a beautiful shot. That's awesomely played. That shot straight down the line into the deep forehand corner is Seven, always extremely two. troublesome when it's coming. But this one was played with such delight and delay. Catching Lindan there on the backhand. They're not able to play a, a good quality shot to the back line. very quick on his serve there, Mark Cardo, I didn't really notice it. No, I don't think so. The umpire straight away intervened, asking Linden to get ready as soon as possible. where you have to watch out when you go across court it's got to be with a little bit better quality than that otherwise you have to do a lot of running luckily for Mark Kalyo is that was going out in the sideline some flashlights uh, behind the court it's on row number three and it's a guy in a red shirt or a girl I can't see whether, but I can see the flashlight is on it's, it's a girl in red t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> we can point her out yeah <laughs> to play back Four. across to the backhand side. I think that's that's generally a good thing to do. Cardio's grip is not uh, promoting that shot, and I think he's also got to take you know, some chances on his long forehand because it, it's played so often. Well. So he's got to wait for it and uh, come round with his legs in the full Nine. power smash where he can also Four. play it straight down the line. Otherwise, it's too easy. Lindan is going to close uh, the, the cross to his backhand down, and... Um, the opportunities will disappear for uh, the Dutchman. There, for instance. He's got good length in there. Yeah, it was a I was just about saying it's a really, really good length on that lift. Yeah. able to follow pace.
So Lindan just uh, one point away from the uh, mid-game interval here, 10-4 up. So the Dutchman always in the picture here. We've got the two Danish coaches, Jonas Luduk and Kent Massen. But the best result so far this year for um, Mark Kaljao is uh, got to the final of the US Open, the Super 300 tournament, where he uh, lost in three games in that final. Yeah, lost to Lee Dong Kyung of Korea. He had a happening, great chance of winning that match. 11, four, interval. Yeah, he lost 21-16 in that final game Remember now, in the yeah, US Open. And here we see the uh, the final rally before going into the uh, interval. Good attacking skills here by Lindan, choosing to go straight down the line this time. Seconds. And while we're watching these uh, slow motion pictures from uh, 11, the first half four. of the first game, we are getting ready here to commence the uh, second part. Eleven four. Play. And that's the drift you have to watch out. The drift that's coming from the right to the left. Twelve four. really got some good power in these smashes, the straight smashes, when, when he's in balance. Yeah. What I don't like about this rally Five, is from, from a 12. Dutch perspective, but I like it from a Chinese perspective, is that even though Lindan, he lost this rally, he was basically in control. He was directing the rally from the beginning, and, and if he can continue to do that, then uh, he's definitely going to take this match. Over. 13, 5. Great lift yeah, it's amazing lift. Really, really good length. Over. 6.30. Ah. That dive there from Lindana, I, th I would like to see him uh, get it. I mean, Kato hasn't really been a threat on the uh, straight shots. But you have to give him his 13-6 up. Yeah. So um, maybe just, you know, taking the foot a little bit off the, the pedal. We don't see Lindan be so aggressive at the moment. He's kind of, as you say, want to direct the shots Seven, more. Yes. I, I think it's a little bit um, dangerous for him because from the matches I've seen where he gets in trouble, 
uh, taking it a little bit slow at times. Then eventually three or four mistakes creep in that we normally don't see him make. And if he makes two more mistakes, Eight, then Cardio is back 13. in it. Yeah. Three-point gap is... There's nothing in this game that's going... Yeah, that's another one there. 9-13. It's very unpredictable um, in his um, later years, Lindan. Uh, silver medalist last year in, in Glasgow and then having some uh, first round losses and uh, eventually <laughs> winning New Zealand. Yeah, I was there watching him when yeah. he won the New Zealand Open. That was in May this 10, year. 13. Beat Jonathan Christie in the final. Two straight games. There's some fans behind us that also thinks that uh, Lynn Dan should step a little bit on the... Uh, <laughs> Gas pedal, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one there. Good play by the Dutchman. Once again, that cross court smash is uh, proved to be a really good choice here, and then closing the gap just to two points. 11 13. bet is still that Lindan is going to take this uh, first game, but it's definitely an opponent with a little bit more confidence than when he was behind 13-5. Definitely. challenge of the uh, match so far it's called in but Mark Kalyo of Holland is a uh, challenging let's see what Hawkeye is going to say and that's out so it's a successful out. challenge here that was a really bad line call that one service over 12 but Hawkeye on both the two TV courts here in uh, Nanjing. This for the early stages of this World Championship. There's five courts in the hall, so three courts without the Hawkeye system to uh, assist the linesman. This is all about being chosen to play on one of the two show courts, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? At least you have the Hawkeye and you can appeal. Six matches and caught one, and it's been a good tournament. <laughs> yes, then you've done well. Stays. No, that's the wrong call. Yeah. Lindan challenges call out. Yeah, it looks in. Yeah. I think that was a linesman that got uh, yeah, camera yeah. shy. Yeah, the other one wrong. Yeah. Just as useful 15, if she continues like that. Uh, we just know that it's the opposite of what she calls. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope not. No. Let's hope not. 
That's a good defensive shot. Got it back from that backhand position. Oh. You don't want to fall for that one. <laughs> totally out of your shoes, but uh, well recovered there 17, by the Dutchman. 12. Try to have a look at this one. Well, he just got it. So after you've fallen for it, you just want to get your racket on, <laughs> on the shuttle. You don't care what happens <laughs> afterwards. As so that's respectable to get the racket on. <laughs> yeah, that's respect. Totally in control in, the, in this match, didn't really care too much for those uh, six points in a row that he lost uh, in, the, in the middle of this first game. Now, I must say that uh, Lindan is always a man of uh, great confidence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So the score is 18 12th. Lindan to surf, just three points away from taking this opening game. There was an opportunity there. He should have taken it. Quite telling rally. Uh, 19, 12. That has sort of happened a number of times throughout this uh, first game that Mark Carter has the right ideas, but the execution is lacking a little bit in order to compete with the uh, absolute top players. The uh, shot quality is still lacking a little bit. Uh, it's not that much competition back in uh, in Holland, so it's going to be uh, a tough road. He's going to be really, really uh, alert in his practice to, uh, to get the uh, Correct shot quality to challenge for the uh, top 10. 20. But maybe he will join other training setups now wow. and again. Um, positive he will. So it's over. 13. 20. So first game point is saved, and the second one as well. 14, 20. <laughs> and outside the picture, Lindan is excusing to his coaches. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, I made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good deception here, taking the first game, 21-14. First game won by Lindan, 21, 14. And here we have the uh, final rally of the uh, first game. And look at this deception, really well played by Lindan. One of his favourite shots, opening up the face of the racket so nicely. Good disguise. Uh, 
他一球一过他，他球下不来，你是五高点这种两边一分，机会就出来了。如果说你可以太平，他就在肩膀位置，他就想打打打，他他球下你只能只能打，只能打，只能打，对吧？你球一过他，他球一过被动球打高球打得很高啊，要去注意头顶去他可能啥事情？这个有侧风，对吧？他从往这边吹的，往这手那边往这手那边走一点。还是一个这个架，这个这个连贯的这个，对对，啊，整个不错，嗯，投入连贯的状态不错，嗯，投入，啊。So we are very soon ready to begin this second game. Lindan won the opening game 21-14. And we had some very good rallies and uh, good exchanges. And I, I must say that I hope you, the viewers back home, enjoyed it just as much as we did. to be able One, to cover low. Mark Kaljo. And you can see his stance, he's standing in the middle of the court like he thinks there's an equal possibility that it comes right or left. There's, there's not. There's not. <laughs> nope. It is coming down the line. If you study Linden carefully, there's a 9 out of 10 chance that yes. it is coming straight. That's Whoa. well played. That was the one that we were looking for in the first game, the attack straight down the Lindan's forehand. If he can play a couple of more of those shots, the backhand will open up for, uh, for Cal Joe. Nicely disguised, clear. Perfect rally from uh, a Dutch perspective. Two, one. Yeah, right on the line. That cross court smash. Lindan here in the picture diving for it. Couldn't get to it. One of the curious things that um, nowadays you can play to the uh, long backhand of Lindan, and it's reasonably safe to play that because in his heydays around 2008, you had to play in his forehand because his backhand was absolutely lethal. You could not see what was happening. And, and the pace he injected from that backhand size some 10 years ago that, was, that was just, the problem. Yeah. It was so quick. So the only chance you had was trying to lift to his forehand, <laughs> which was uh, almost equally good, but you know, exactly. of two evils. You can, see, you can see now how much trouble you get in when you uh, play him to the forehand without pressure. You can see it on the opponent's feet. Very, very often they take just a small step in the wrong direction before being able to uh, read the shots correctly. Wait. 
shot. But it's interesting oh. that, you know, you and I, we talk about in his heyday, some 10 years ago, he was able to do so and so. But still today, in this tournament, in 2018, I still consider him as one of the favourites to go for the title. Yeah, he's definitely in the mix. Yes. He's definitely in the mix. Um, it's a challenge to all the other players that um, some of the dominant players are in the mid 30s. Chung Wei won Malaysia Open um, a month ago or something like that. Unfortunately, out for these uh, championships. But, um, they still have it. Being challenged by some of the younger players, but um, I'd like to see more. Yeah, all well left. Wow, I would like to see that. The uh, linesman on the back line called it in. I would really like to see that in, uh, in replay. in the side, there's no doubt about that, but um, I thought it was long as well. moments where Lindan is going cross court but still be reminded that it had to be closer to the sideline the, the yes, quality exactly. of the shot was he, not good enough no he was almost in the middle of the court yeah Took seconds for the uh, shuttle to reappear in the in the screen from that camera there, which means that he had oceans of time to get below the shot. That's again the shot quality that we discussed earlier. It's got to be better yet from uh, Mark Kaljo and uh, the variety. It's got to be there all the time. Well, that's so beautiful about badminton, isn't it? That, you know, it's just not one element. It's no. many, many different elements that you bring into play. Exactly. And you, you need to have the quality of, of your shots, of course, but you also have to move really well. You have to be fit, you have to be fast, you have to be cool. So you have to be many, many, many things at the same time. That is exactly what makes it so enjoyable being uh, involved in badminton. So unpredictable. I was once working with a Chinese coach who told me that badminton, you know, you have to have really, really fast feet, <laughs> a steady arm and a cool head. Yeah. And I couldn't agree with him more. Over. 
six, seven. From a Dutch perspective, it's positive that um, it's 7 all that uh, Mark Kajo is very much in this second game. Um, so I feel that he hasn't played his best. Yeah, the frustration is understandable here. It's a simple shot. It's really, really go down as an unforced error. Kajo now the two cross smashes that Lindan played with success earlier in this game. Because he can't probably feels that he can't move a little bit towards that backhand side. Kept him hesitating. Yeah. Danish coaches or the Dutch coaches being Danish really applauding here for the nice follow-up it's just over the back of uh, Jonas uh, Duduk shouting you know good follow-up Once again, we need the court to be marked. This time, here is uh, Mark Kaljo. He was on the floor in his defense. Once again, a good disguise shot here by Lindan. But there's no doubt that Mark Kagyo is uh, well on his way to Olympic qualification. You know, being as high as he is on the world ranking and then not really uh, being pushed from behind. Yeah, but, uh, we were talking about it actually last year uh, when he joined the club, and I can't really remember what he said because the, the Dutch uh, National Olympic Committee has had really, really strict qualification criteria, and that means that for instance um, a player like um, Diki Palyama yeah uh, he, he never qualified for the Olympics because they had so high um, national criteria. I think they've been lowered a little bit so that he has a chance of uh, going to Tokyo wow. Wow. Really, really good here. taking it to the mid-game interval 
setting it up so nicely. But yes, you're right, the national criteria in Holland is, is very high. It's normally top 16, yeah. or it used to be top 16. So if you're not into the top 16, even though you qualify, means you're not going. So it's quite a close affair here in the uh, second game. Lindan is 11-9 up at the uh, mid-game interval. But it has been 7-all and 9-all, and now it's Very good net shot here by Lindan. Try to have a look at it. Just the top of the tape, rolling over. And what is magic about it is the fact that it's played from such a low position. And, that, and that's, in my opinion, one of the things that we see the development is in um, top men's singles. Well, that you have to. It's nine. not. It's not enough that you can play the net sharply from from a top close position. to the tape. Yeah. You have to be able to play it from below the tape as well. Um, and then, of course, you have to to pick your. Uh, Spots. Yeah, your right it. moments to do it. I was just about sure that's coming cross court, but uh, you have to cover the straight one. But you can see the whole way that he was it's positioning too, himself. Yeah, it's too short, the lift. Yeah. Of course, uh, he's been under pressure, and that's what's so good about Lindan. And he, he sort of uh, gets a bigger and bigger opportunity for every shot. He makes the chance bigger 13, and bigger until he can't miss nine. it. Road to um, the sixth world championship, uh, Lindan. Yeah, I saw the draw as well. Facing uh, Shiyuchi early in um, the tournament. If, 14, 10. if he gets that far, but we saw him earlier today that uh, he's qualified for the second round at least.
Yeah, according to the draw, of course. If everything goes according to that, then he will play uh, so Chou Chen Chen in the uh, quarter final. 11, 14. Shi Yu Chi will be in the last 16. That's because Lindan is uh, only, inverted commas, a seeded number nine. Yes. Yeah, interestingly, uh, the I'm Chinese uh, coaches have selected Xiu Qi and uh, Chen Long for the individual tournament in the uh, Asian Games that are coming up um, shortly after these World Championships here. So Lindan deselected for an individual tournament. That's... Um, Perhaps, uh, unusual perhaps unusual expected, situation. but it's an <laughs> unusual. Yeah, it's an unusual situation. Good shot. Yeah, very short. Yes. It takes just half an extra step from the opponent. That's a really good shot from Kanjo as well. Serve it over. 12. 15. There's so many players that are not really capable of playing those close shots from the back court, and, and it hurts them a little bit because their opponent's um, area of play is just um, half a meter too, um, too short. Uh, half a meter, maybe even more. Maybe even more. But isn't it amazing? You know, this court was constructed, what, 125 years ago? And it's still too big. Yeah. yeah. It's still too big to cover. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite impressive. The Dutchman is still hanging in, just uh, two points in the balance here, 15-13 for Lindan. But anything can still happen. He's playing that shot so well, doesn't he? Some, it seems like there's a natural disguise in, in uh, his shots from his forehand. A little um, hesitation with the racket yeah. makes it really, really hard to read. Favors, of course, his, his power and his smashes, yes. and that's what he's chosen. But uh, he would benefit from the fact that if he could play with a slightly looser grip, being able to change his grip according to the shots he's playing. Just two points away now from uh, 19, taking this 14. opening match and then, of course, on to the next round, 19-14 up. And 
make that 2014-20 match point 14, having won 20, the first game 21-14. A great match by Lin Dan, who's been in total control throughout game this match. Completely, absolutely, utterly, completely. Well played by uh, by Lin Dan here, taking the uh, second game 21-14 as well, which means that. 14. As the umpire is saying, 21-14, 21-14. It was a good match to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. We did. It was uh, a great match. Confirmation 21 14, 21 14. Lindan safely through to the second round of the World Championship 2018.